Ferd McCallum, the former rider with one of the biggest reputations in road racing, has built one of the biggest motorcycling businesses in the province. His extensive Lisbon showrooms are stacked wall to wall with the products of his three dealerships, Triumph, Kawasaki and KTM. Philips Racing history has enabled him to attract those big name franchises, especially those five memorable Northwest 200 victories in one day and four Isle of Man wins in a week. They want history and they want quality behind that and I'm very, very lucky. I used to be sponsored and then work for the, the biggest motorcycle company in the UK and his time was Motorcycle City so that's where I learnt my retail experience and I got all my relationship with the manufacturers and the contacts. Triumph is one of those big names. Triumph are built in bikes for you, for me. They're built in bikes for today's customers, classics, sports bikes and the big adventure world so they really are on and up and they, they're market share is growing everywhere uh, throughout the world at the moment. So here at Triumph, fantastic stand, a bit of something for everyone, but Triumph it's amazing the story, isn't it, over the last few years, what's happened to the company or what's happened with the company? Well, we made our debut here 24 years ago, exactly to today. That's when we launched the brand. And um, 20, 24 years later, we're now market leader with a bike range to offer everybody. So from cruiser to sports to enduro to classic, we've really got a bike for everybody today. Triumph are famous for their modern classics. This is the Bonneville T100. It really is a 60s kickback with the spoke wheels. It, it's got the same styling as the 69 Bonneville with a very modern engine. And then of course we've got derivatives of that Bonneville. For example, we've got the Clubman's racing style, the Thruxton that's been in the range for eight years. Those drop handles on it, they look great, yeah, don't they? Very much calf, calf racing style, lots of accessories, very evocative bike. So we can really um, go dip into the, to the nostalgia bucket with this bike. We're exploring our way around the Triumph stand at the moment, but this is the, uh, the Tiger Explorer. And this again looks really good fun and but uh, you can get everywhere with it yeah well the great thing about these bikes is if you're touring abroad you don't know what the terrain's like you could be in trail you could be in greece you could be in sardinia what these have done is they become very very popular as an adventure touring bike um, they've got great durability about them steel chassis so they'll take they'll take lots of luggage they'll take a lot of wear a very high level of spec, ABS, and they're shaft driven, so they're, they're virtually maintenance free. Now for the Roadsters. This is a naked, very, very high and sophisticated sports bike. Um, and the market has moved away from fully fared bikes to actually wind in your face, bikes that you can accessorize. And we do a really good range of accessories to custom to customize these bikes. For you. So fly screen, belly pants, seat cowls, even heated grips now. The Thunderbird Commander and the Thunderbird LT are popular models in Triumph's range of cruisers. From Triumph to Kawasaki. I believe at the moment that Kawasaki is definitely one of the strongest Japanese brands out there. They start again at the 300 Ninja class, which is your 300 introduction range for the man there. We move up into the 600 range with the 600 uh, AR6s, the Ferd and the Neck. We go into the, six, the sort of the 650 upright class, which is the Versus 650, which is a, a superb machine. We move on up into the 1000cc Versus then, that's a, the bigger machine. You put the, the partner on the back, your luggage, and you go for long miles. Uh, in the sports bike range, we've got the ZX6 and the ZX10. The ZX10 is, is a world championship winning superbike. It wins the British Championship. It wins in the in the production class on the road. So we move on into the big machines with the ZZR 1400 and uh, the, the GTR 1400 with all the protection and the comfort for, for thousands of miles. And then really there's the Z range, which is their street bike range. We've got the Z800. We've got the Z1000 now, which is a totally new bike to the market this year. So Kawasaki have a very, very strong range of bikes. McAllen Motorcycles are the sole KTM distributors in Northern Ireland. This is KTM's introduction to the RC range. It's a new 125, just the machine that every kid needs. The big brother is the RC390 that everyone's been waiting on. We're now going back to take a look at the Adventure. The 1190 Adventure is the talk of the world. It's being voted number one by everyone. Tell us a little bit about the 1190. 
Yeah, it's been hugely successful for us this year and uh, for next year we're revising it really. We've introduced something called MSC, Motorcycle Stability Control, which basically is cornering ABS. You can brake as hard as you need to midway through a corner. You can brake at a corner? Brake in a corner, not just a little bit, as in really hard. The system is so advanced. One of the star attractions from KTM is the naked 1290cc Super Duke. So here at KTM, my first word on viewing this bike was ridiculous. Is that fair enough, Luke? I think that's pretty fair. Fair to say, <laughs> it's a 1300cc V-twin. You know, this is a non-conformist bike. We built it because we wanted to, and I think everyone wanted us to build it. So it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty crazy. And developing this bike, of course, none other than Jeremy McWilliams being involved with a lot of KTM's uh, product now, but this one in particular, he was highly praising of it. Yeah, I mean, he said it's the, a bike with the most amount of torque he's ever ridden, and he's ridden some pretty yeah. torquey <laughs> machines, you know, MotoGP. But yeah, no, he, he had a massive involvement with the chassis, suspension, tyres, you know. So uh, I think we've got a lot to, to thank him for. He's done a pretty, pretty good job. Back in McAllen's Lisbon showroom, you can spot some famous historic leathers amongst its wide range of contemporary clothing. There are many road racing reminders in these hallowed halls. I learnt really in my younger days as racing that it's important to have the best crash helmet you can get and the best ladders and the best protection you can get. So for new Triumphs, Kawasaki's or KTM's or one of Philip's wide range of second-hand bikes, his extensive stock of protective clothing offers service in his well-equipped workshop. Call at his Lisieux Industrial Estate premises or buy online from his recently updated website.